Nityanam guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. In this video, I want to share something with you regarding, I got a comment from someone and it's not the first type, it's not the first kind of comment that I receive in that line. And it's basically a comment which is um, against um, us, against Swamiji, against uh, getting in tune and aligning and um, living Sanatana Hindu Dharma, living, being a disciple of Swamiji and it's basically um, around the topic where if somebody tells you to drop your identity be careful, it is very dangerous, they are going to control you and manipulate you. So I wanted to share um, something that is that is a part of my the part of my cognition which I have not shared with you since I started these videos um, See, one thing that I, the foundation of my jump towards being with Swamiji and living Swamiji's teachings and, uh, you know, uh, living Swamiji, whatever, being integrated, being a disciple um, and living Swamiji's, uh, again, teachings and Sanatana Hindu Dharma. The whole thing started when I realized before meeting Swamiji that I was suffering, I was unfulfilled, and I realized that the source of my unfulfillment, my lack of fulfillment, was me. See, there's a, a, an example I will tell you. You will face many situations in your life. You will experience various kinds and types of problems. Um, and if you look at each problem that you face in any dimension of your life with any person, there's, al there's always one thing which is always present in all your problems. What is it? Look carefully. The only thing which is consistent in all the problems we face without, uh, you know, if we take in consideration all the problems without leaving any problem aside, if we take in consideration all the problems, there's always one thing which is in common in all the problems, and that is us. We are present in each problem we face, each suffering we have, each joy we have, in everything we have. So the reality, we can say, of our existence is us. The only thing in common in everything that we experience is you, me. So when you start to experience, when you start to feel that you're suffering and you're unfulfilled and you're not, you know, living the freedom you want to live, you're not living the life, the bliss, whatever you seek, when you feel that you're struggling, when you feel that, that unfulfillment, that suffering, then I personally came to the conclusion that I have to change who I am. I have to discover who I am. I have to do something with myself. Because myself, not myself as the self Atman, but self as my identity, is the problem which is responsible, or I should say uh, that identity of mind is responsible for all the joys and sufferings that I, that I experience. And at some point I was like, the sufferings were more important than the joys, meaning that because I was experiencing certain kind of unfulfillment in some dimensions of my life, I felt, I don't want this. I'm willing to drop the joys for the sake of not experiencing the suffering. And from that, I decided to shift. And I feel, um, and I feel that that's a fundamental thing. If you watch my videos, you should know that. I always speak from the context that you want to reinvent, to rediscover who you are. So dropping your identity is a given because you want to explore something new, not something you know. So, I, I mean, I want everybody to, I want, I want you and um, everybody who's watching this video to be, to be aware and to understand that, that yes, the fundamental cognition from which I, I share these videos is drop what you think as you and explore your consciousness to realize who you truly are, not just the simple identity that you have 
um, established yourself into as of right now. So um, that's what I want to share basically in this video. And um, to remove the potential fear, you know, sometimes people watch and say, oh my God, if I lose my identity, they will control me and all that. So if this fear is present, then, then, then that is not, maybe not what you should be doing. Uh, I mean, uh, the, whatever I'm sharing might not be what you want to implement in your life. I personally feel like, like I shared at some point, when we, f when we really feel I am unfulfilled, when, when that clicks with you, when you feel unfulfilled, then automatically, you know, this kind of realization that what is the source of my unfulfillment? Well, the source of your unfulfillment is you. So looking into that and altering, changing that is the solution, is the path uh, towards creating the possibility of experiencing fulfillment. Because as long as you stay, if you feel unfulfilled and, and you might not feel unfulfilled and that's fine, then you, you might not be interested in these videos at all. But if you feel unfulfilled, then you are the source of that unfulfillment. So to create the possibility of experiencing fulfillment, you have to change you consciously. And Sanatana Hindu Dharma and Swamiji is giving, I mean, Swamiji is Sanatana Hindu Dharma. What he's revealing is directly Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So Swamiji is giving the powerful cognitions, the right cognition you need to establish yourself into in order to alter who you, the experience you have about you so that you can find the identity which will constantly create fulfillment for yourself. And there is such an identity. And that identity is Paramashivoham. When you are in the space of Paramashivoham, you will always be fulfilled no matter what situation you are into. So that's what I want to share in this video, bring more light and, uh, and to avoid some unnecessary fears or at least bring clarity so that you, know, you can decide if you feel uh, if that resonates with you or if it does not resonate with you. So yes, guys, do not be afraid of uh, rediscovering, rediscovering who you are, who you think you are. End of the day, the purpose of spirituality, uh, one of the fundamental cognition and understanding I have, I have about the importance of this path of, uh, of being a disciple of Swamiji is to enter into the space of fearlessness. And fearlessness means no fears. Okay, so that means that's a big thing, something we have to contemplate, something I'm contemplating on, something I would invite you to contemplate on what is fearlessness and fearlessness is the most liberating experience. When you do not have fear, you can be yourself. So that's what I want to share. Thank you again for watching. Um, subscribe if you have not. Click the bell icon to be updated about all the videos that I release. I release on a daily basis. And uh, yes, check the description below. A lot of nice content and like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching. Nitya